All right, here we go. Hi guys, it's Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today we have my special, special guest here, Tyler from North of 7 and uh, my, my nephew here. And today we are trying to do a review here for True North Baits here. We've got first a couple. Time. First time on the channel? Are you sure? All right. Today we're trying uh, True North Lures here. We're doing a little review. We've got, uh, you've got the little stick on, the little Sanko style lure on there. We've got a finesse craw, and we've got a brush beetle here to try out. And let's see what we think about the lures today, right, uh, Tyler? Yes. Are you excited to try out True North lures? Yes. All right, let's, uh, let's get to fishing then. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a lesson in uh, product review and uh, potential parenting down the road. It's not sinking. It's all right. Uh, uh, it might not sink. Um, so you're going to want to... You got a crab. Yeah, I got a little crap. So you're going to want to uh, reel in and you're going to want to cast again. Okay? Yeah, I do. I'm the little Ned Rig. I think it's a really oh, tiny right. bass. Wow. That's uh, small. It is small, that's right, it's a rock bass, not our targeted species, but um, hey, a fish is a fish, right? Oh, Did, fish. We're almost to the sticks. And you have to get in there without uh, getting hung up with yeah. your fishing lure, that's right. So they're hard and you can catch a lot of fish. You can, that's right. I don't think that's the best path. No, but that's okay. I do that a lot. Oh. I'm talking a lot. Learning. That's okay. Just remember, face the way you want to cast. So if you want to cast that way, face that way. Okay. I might have actually would have caught it. All right, I'm going to get a fish right there. Oh, I can barely see them now. Uh, yep. Can they see me? There we go. That's a bass. Oh, you what? So, Already? Yeah, all right. Lose him, he's coming, he's coming to mine. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lose him. Oh, yeah. No, you're not going to lose him. He's a good guy. Oh, my God. Can I carry him? You want to carry him? Like, hold him, you mean? Yeah. Sure you can. That's a nice little one on the little, uh, creature bait. Down? Yeah, just set it down. Like that. Yep. Like so. All right, so we just hold on to him. Oh. He can't bite you. He doesn't have any teeth. I know. Okay, got it. All right. Oh, just don't stand on the seats if you could. It's too high on the boat. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Can I put him down? Yeah, you can put him in the water. Bye yep. bye. There you go. Good one. High five. All right, we're on the board. <sighs> Well, Tyler, um, I know you want to be a YouTuber when you grow up. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not going to be all fun and games. Uh, sometimes you're going to be stuck uh, out on the water. Or, like, for example, like, uh, maybe you won't be into fishing, but you know how I, got, I get stuck out in the water and there's not much I can do about it? Mm. So sometimes, even though it's fun being a YouTuber and people think it's easy, there's usually a that's thunder. We don't mess around with thunder. Yeah, no. Reel in. We're going home. Hurry up. All right, I'll drop you off. I think this is gonna pass. But yeah, that's uh, the life of being a YouTuber is I don't mess around with thunder. And I don't think your parents would like me messing around with thunder too much. No, so we're going. So we're gonna be home in five minutes. Short video of me and I'll be in next Yeah, people. there we go. Thanks for watching. Like yeah. and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. All right. For Mark. That's right. You know, Tyler, this is the part of the YouTube fishing that, uh, you know, most people are like, I can catch a fish and I can film a video. I know everything about fishing. And then they go out in water like this. And they're like, nope. Well, no, some more thunder. But it's okay. We're going to be home in two minutes. So there we go. You got your chance at being a real YouTuber today. So was it as fun as you thought it would be or not as fun? 
Yeah. Yeah. Not this part though. Yeah, not this part. This part's not very fun. Need a good shower in. Yeah. You got a good shower in. We both did. My, my whole body is The wife will be happy about that. All right, guys. Well, after sabbatical, we are uh, <laughs> we're back on the water. As you can see, that was empty. That's probably dang an inch of rain, anyways, in about 30 minutes. And this boat was pretty dry. So we're gonna go back. Lost our uh, lost our partner in crime. But we're gonna go back and finish off the True North Bates uh, review. And uh, as a uh, just as a disclaimer on every video, every review video I do is out of this boat on this lake. Can't control the the weather. Um, let's see. We cannot control the weather. Um, everyone gets a fair shake. I have no affiliation with any of these brands. Picked up True North Bates. I think they were four for twenty bucks at CanCast. Uh, so reasonably priced, you know, I don't buy anything not on sale, so I can tell you how much they are uh, not on sale because that's just a silly talk. Uh, so we're going to bail out the boat, hope she stops raining and thundering. Now the little guy is safe and we're going to go back in the water to finish off the review for tonight, hopefully. Looks like the sun's kind of trying to come out. This is a trophy fish. <laughs> this is why we go out after the windstorm. This guy's got to be over two. I don't know. Is he? Uh, he's decent. There we go on the little stick bait. Healthy, healthy little guy. There we go. Got one on a little True North bait stick bait. That did not take too long at all. Feels like a good one. A little bucket with some salad right where he ought to be. That little 12 incher in the salad. There we go. This little wacky lure here. I'm not actually sure what their stick bait is called. Oh. It definitely needs to be re-rigged, re but it's actually a bit more durable than uh, than some manufacturers, Canadian manufacturer stick baits. Yep. Feels decent. Feels pretty good. Hold on. Oh, he is good one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Not too, too big, but another one on the little two-pounder, probably. On the uh, True North lures. Whatever this thing is called. What are, they, what are these lures called? This is the Stoddy Stick. What the hell that is. This is a Finesse Craw. Five-pack. Ontario Craw is the color. Yeah, I can see that. Hey guys, just trying to get a bass on this little chartreuse thingy uh, from True North Lures. But I'm also at 4% battery life. So uh, in case my GoPro battery dies on me, um, True North Bait's pretty good product. Uh, none of these were custom molds. Apparently they do have custom molds, but these are not ones that are custom. Uh, the stick bait was pretty good. The finesse crawl was pretty good. This thing seems to uh, not be so great. Uh, I like the durability of the stick uh, bait, and even the finesse crow was pretty good. The five pack kind of sucked, but durability's there. Um, and I like the durability on the stick bait, which is better than some of the Canadian manufacturers out there for sure. So I'm just going to keep casting this little thing, and uh, if the battery dies, the battery dies.